war on the streets. So this is really going crazy right now. They say that J. Price Jr. Moftars got beat up at the club in Memphis. And this still allegedly, man, because we were to get more information. So this is for entertainment and educational purposes. Now listen up, bro. I told you all, man, that it was going to be crazy. You get what I'm saying? Especially when it when it has something to do with Moftars. I mean J. Price Jr. precisely. Now, listen up, bro. Dude been out here. I mean, he's been on a low. You get what I'm saying? He's trying to he's trying to make the right move. He's trying to focus on the business and you know f everything that got to do with the street. But the other day, man, we got some information that he was out here trying to you know trying to save Neon. I mean, the guy who was the streamer, right? Neon, the streamer. Now it was really going crazy for a minute because I was asking a lot of questions, man. These are what the street is saying. They say that Junior was in Memphis, right? He was at the club, man. He was trying to do some do, man. He was going off at the bouncers and the securities of the club because they wouldn't let Neon to enter the club and all that crazy stuff, right? And he decided to step in. You feel me? He decided to step in. He decided to, you know, make it go away. He decided to act like the tough guy. Yeah, I got him. You gotta let him come inside the club and stuff like that. Now we getting some walls on the street there. He ended up getting beat up allegedly. You get what I'm saying? Like they say that the the bouncer was like, who, who the f are you, bro? Who the f are you? Who the f are you to come to the club and tell us who we can allow to go inside the club and who we can't allow to go inside the club? Cause over here, bro, these Memphis, these not you know, these not Houston, bro. You guys are running Houston. We out here running Memphis. And this is a club. This is a business. Now, bro, some some girls in the street was right there giving us the information. You know, letting us know that, bro, it was really crazy. It was really crazy, y'all, because, you know, you know how J, J. Prince Jr. is, bro. You know how he is, man. I mean, he's been out here a couple of minutes. You get what I'm saying? Trying to, trying to step into some kind of crazy situations but this particular situation man got him beat up in memphis now he could have gone to memphis with finished two times because you all know that finished two times is from memphis right and they might have a show in memphis they might try to you know run some business in memphis and stuff like that and decided to go to the club and kind of you know enjoy themselves and stuff like that but it didn't go well, right? It didn't go well, bro. It didn't go well. They say that he got beat up at the club. That didn't go well. Now, listen up, bro. Memphis is so hot right now. Trust me. You don't want to go to Memphis and, you know, trying to do some crazy stuff. Memphis is damn effing hot, bro. Nobody want to be in Memphis right now because the street is really going crazy. People are getting killed every day. And a lot of violent stuff is going on in Memphis. But if I'm the club owner, bro, they, they probably don't know who Neon is, right? They probably don't know the dude, man. The dude is, you know, he got a lot of money because he's a streamer, right? He's a streamer and he's been getting money and stuff like that. And some people end up saying that, you know, Neon is going to start getting a, a start thesis. He told J. Press Jr. that, you know, he's from Memphis and his family still lives in Memphis there. He's about to start getting it started. I mean, he's about to start paying some uh, some check-in fees and stuff like that. You know how it goes, bro. We all heard the rumors and all the whole interviews that we seen in 2023 about checking in whenever, you, whenever you're whenever you used it. So, people was like going off on Neon, bro. Why why would you tell Gideon that, you know, you from Memphis, that your family still lives in Memphis, bro? You're about to start paying that check-in fee, bro. Do you want to get it started? Now, it's all crazy, bro. It's all crazy. We see Wakonje come out to tell us how many times uh, J. Prince Jr. got beat up in LA, right? That's why he's not been in LA for a very long time and stuff like that. That was when Wakonje was having the beef with Muff Ties and Rapper Laws and J. Prince Senior and all that stuff, man. He was exposing some crazy, crazy information say that he was the one that also you know always come out to save his ass right whenever he's getting beat up or getting started in the street of la 
which is really crazy, right? He said it's not once, it's not twice, it's not, you know, so many couple of so many times that Wap was talking about. So I think this is not the first time that we're getting the information that, you know, Junior was getting beat up in the club. Now, I'm not I'm not really like quite convinced about the whole thing because I watched the little video, bro. I watched the little video. I was like, okay, cool. I I also made a reaction video about it. I was like, okay, cool, bro. This J Prince Junior trying to, you know, make sure that he goes inside the club with Neon, right? But I didn't see the clip where he got beat up and stuff like that, but that was what's on the street. That's what I told you, man. The video is for entertainment and educational purposes. So everything is allegedly. We are just out here letting you all know what the street is talking about. That's all we do, right? It's crazy. But let me know what you all think, man. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell so you get notified whenever I drop a new video.